Hi guys and welcome to another video from Stupid is the Norm, the channel where we demonstrate how to become a millionaire in 10 years on minimum wage and in this video I'm going to explain to you how it is that you're going to lose some of your current friends. Now on your journey to wealth you're going to drift apart from your current friends and that's because you'll be spending less time with them, you'll be concentrating on doing the things that are necessary for you to achieve your journey to wealth. So having called you a number of times and asked you to come out for a drink with them and you haven't turned them down, they'll eventually get a bit jaded and then they'll just stop calling, which I think is perfectly natural. Now your friends are people you have things in common with. So you'll probably go to work with them or drink in the same bar or play golf or football, some other hobby. But there are things that you have in common with your friends, things you can talk about, things you can all relate to. And that's why they're your friends. But as you become more engrossed upon this journey you're about to embark on you will have less time to spend with them and also you'll begin to resent the amount of money you used to spend with them um, you know I used to go and play golf and that's expensive you want to go for a drink in Newcastle for a night it's 50 60 quid and now I'm thinking 50 and 60 quid I got my best mate the one I bought the second property with um, and he I was in a bar recently yeah still going bars and um, he was organizing a stag do for some from friends of ours and uh, he was asking her, who wants to go and play, uh, who wants to go on a, a go-karting weekend and it's it's 60 quid for an hour's go-karting. And he was asking, yes, he, asking all the friends, and yes, he'll go, he'll go, I'll go, I'll go. And he looked at me, he says, I'm not even going to bother asking you. And I says, yeah, dead right there, mate, because I'm not going to spend 60 quid doing that. But what happens is your friends will notice you're spending less time with them. And some will comment on it, some to your face and some behind your back. And I'm not saying that's wrong. That's perfectly natural you're going to drift away and the reason you're drifting away from them is that you're growing and they aren't they're staying where they are but your lifestyle your life not like particular lifestyle at this stage is advancing you're changing you're learning you're experimenting you're trying different things and they aren't and that's going to put a distance between you but don't despair you're not going to be lonely because as you grow and advance you're going to grow and advance into a different set of friends friends who have this new beliefs that you have the uh, new common things that you're doing and learning about and experimenting with that you have or perhaps they're a bit further along the line but you now have something in common with them which you didn't have before now this doesn't mean you've got above your station and you you've forgotten where your your humble roots and where you come from it's just that your friends haven't advanced they haven't moved any but what I don't want you to do is let their apathy act as a drag and anchor on you and keep you back from growing. Now I was inspired to produce this video because I got a phone call from a friend of mine who I hadn't spoken to in years. And if you wish, he'd advanced some years ago and I hadn't. He too had gone down the property line whilst I was still waiting for the universe to give me a million pounds. He took action and got involved in property. To the stage now he's so far ahead of me that he's actually built housing estates using his crew of guys. So there's still miles between us. What he did, he called me up out of the blue and said, Perry, we haven't spoken for ages, mate. I'm so sorry that we haven't been as friendly as we were. But I, I just want to let you know I'm watching your videos and I think they're great. And I want to say how proud of, of you are, I am watching you go from where you were to where you are now. So why don't we have a catch up, mate, and meet sometime during next week and we'll have a pint and, and just see how we can help each other. Which was fantastic because he'd grown away from me, but now I was grown closer to him. And that's because I had more in common with him than I had before because he'd advanced, I stayed where I was, but now I'm moving back into his circle. And again, it's not me growing and getting big headed. It's because, remember, that's what your friends are, people you have something in common with. And now we have something in common once again than we had before. So I'm looking forward to building that relationship again. So as usual, the reason for making these videos is that you don't make the same mistakes that I did, that you don't adopt the same wrong beliefs as I did. So when you find yourself drifting away from friends and perhaps you hear people talking behind your back and think you've got a bit above your station, don't resent them for that. That's just because they have, haven't learned, they don't know, they're not advancing, they're staying where they are and that's their apathetic lifestyles. That's fine, don't judge them, that's just who they are. Remember, you were one of them once. And neither should you resent those who are further down the road than you because you too will advance and get there eventually and move into their circles because you will have more things in common with them. You're going to lose some friends, you're going to gain a lot more friends. Don't be stupid and don't be normal, guys.